Hey, what's up guys? All right, so I'm gonna show you how we can control MIDI with our keyboard and laptops. In our laptops, I'm using a Mac Pro. Um, this is, oops, let me get out of that. I wanna show you what I got going on here. All right, this is what I'm running on. So uh, I downloaded Controller Mate and let me see if this is already activated. Yeah, so uh, that's me tapping the keys on the keyboard. Um, so Controller Mate basically is a, a third party app. I had to pay for it. You download it and um, you're able to assign your keyboard on your laptop to work as a MIDI controller similar to what you see for Logic. Um, you know, Ableton, Fruity, they all got it. Um, and Pro Tools for some reason doesn't. So um, I had to find a way to do it and Controller Mate was the answer. So I'm gonna share what, what I'm talking about as far as what Controller Mate is. And you can look up, there's a bunch of tutorials. A lot of people use it for video games. Um, but I was lucky enough to find a video and I'll, I think the channel was um, Serico, if I'm saying that right. And he had a couple of cool things using Pro Tools and Controller Mate. And I also found some stuff from uh, Brian, uh, Brian Daly. He's got a couple of things too. Um, really useful uh, information. So, all right, let me find this file. I guess I might as well just open up Controller Mate. All right, so what I have is a, a preset that I created. All right, so if you're interested in this preset, um, just hit me in the comments. I have no problem sharing this. And this is my layout. Um, this took a while for me to figure out, but with the videos that I found on YouTube, I was able to piece it together. I, I, I used most of this. This whole map really is from the Zurich video. So shouts to him, because I was able to put this together just based on like him just doing just showing his screen and talking a little bit about it. I kind of got the hang of it. Took some time. Um, but here across the middle are the white keys. You know, same thing he did. Uh, black keys on top. And, uh, yeah, man, it's fire. So this preset is available. Um, so hit me up if you are on your laptop and you want to make beats on Pro Tools. And if you download it and you put in the preset, the only thing you're going to have to keep an eye on is this, AZ. Um, so that way your short keys don't interfere. So I'm hitting E right now. And if you hit the light, you notice the zoom still. So that's the only thing you might have an issue with if you're running a more um, newer version of the OS and, and uh, what do you call it, on, on Apple. So once you get that going, you'll be able to play any MIDI. You could play your sampler, piano roll. You can mess with the samples and pitch down. Um, I'll show you the map one more time if you want to take a screenshot of this. It's it's pretty large, so it'll be hard to catch in one, but I have no problem sharing this. Um, so I guess, you know, I can explain this the same way Serik did. Se I hope that I'm saying that name right. Serik? Seri I'll look it up. I'm sorry for butchering that name. I'll put his link in the comments down below. Um, all right, so... So, you see on and off, that's the key. So all of this is stemming from up here. This is, everything starts at the Q. These are the brackets left and right that controls the octaves. Then it runs down to this. And this is, let me find um, the properties. There we go. All right, so this is the counter. Um, here are the values, just punch them in, that's all I did. And then this will pretty much just control every note. 
So you notice the zero is C1, my A. And then you just, you notice plus here. And then the white key is one semitone up. And then you're back to D. All right, and so on, just like the piano. You do that all the way. And then I got this for my mod wheel, all the functions of my mod wheel. If you notice, these numbers move as I move the axis. So that's gonna um, control that. So take a look at that. Let's see how that goes. I'll take a screenshot of that. And then uh, that's pretty much it. You know, that's pretty much it. Install it and you're good. All right, guys. Hope that was helpful. Peace.